Hello, everybody. Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Patrick and Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. So, really quick spike up through the levels and then dropping back into the same range it's been in, leaving these levels the same. And uh, just want to point something out. Let's drop down to a five-minute chart just to show you how these levels can still hold up. So, where is that? All right, here it is. Here's that little price area. So you see it did spike all the way up, but this was a super fast spike. And then look where it paused multiple times at this 6670 level. So next bar, it dropped back down. Next bar spiked up just above it. Next bar, that was the high. And then it fell away from that level. So these levels, you know, sometimes you can see spikes through it, but that doesn't mean they don't always work. Well, nothing always works, but it doesn't mean they don't work. You just have to be on the correct time frame to watch it. And again, we're not trying to call the highs and the lows. We're trying to call most probable price targets. Reason I point that out is because it did hold up right there. So we, with this spike up, we're going to leave it in place. We're going to leave these levels in place. We came back down. Looks like we've caught on the rotation zone on a closing basis. So we're going to keep watching for these. Again, returning to 66.50 area. Then we'll be watching for a 66.70. And then uh, 6,700 are the key levels. If we break down below uh, 65.62, then we'll be watching for a return first off to about 6,500, then the 64.70. Let's check in on that daily chart. Nothing really changes with that daily chart. You can see every time we spike up above, especially the 7,000, lots of selling pressure coming in. So that's gonna be a very key level to keep watching for. And definitely if you're doing anything, move up stops or take partial profits when it does run up there. Uh, as long as it keeps snapping back into this range. Switching over to Ethereum, we had that double bottom that triggered, pulled back a bit, never got anywhere close to the stop level. Then coming back up, hitting the stop reduction and the first target. We only had one target on this one and then falling back away again, testing the stop reduction multiple times, but it's already hit the first profit to close out the trade and then falling back. Looks like it's basing a little higher at prior uh, resistance becoming support so that is a good sign for ethereum bulls we can now take this level and this one I will project up using the 12 and 25 percent levels for our next intermediate level so if we get a strong rotation back up watch for a return to about the 232 level then we'll be watching for the 234 37 then 236 51 and then a return to the prior highs first level support if we break down is going to be about 221 to 222 if we break down below that we'll be watching for 218 let's check in on that daily chart so daily chart let's see you see we're still in the same range this consolidation range so we really need to either higher or lower closes outside of this to really gain some momentum so just watch for those reversal patterns within there and if it does run up move up your stops or take partial profits and now the 50 on the daily has declined to the most recent swing highs so if we do break out in any strong fashion this 254 to 255 level is going to be very key to definitely move up your longer term stops or take profits again so we have for you on ethereum and bitcoin and we'll talk to everyone soon bye for now